Hey, thanks for stopping by. If you came across this video, you're probably looking for a solution for your power equipment service needs. If not, you can probably just go ahead and skip this video. But if that is what you're looking for, service to your zero turn, your riding mower, chainsaw, aerator, lawn tractor, you come to the right place. And if you stay till the end here, I'm going to share with you uh, two main reasons why your equipment may be malfunctioning. And it's a big uh, issue, especially in the springtime and something you might be able to take care of yourself. Anyway, my name's Rich. I've been working on these small engines for uh, many, many years. Uh, years ago, I actually attended North County Tech up here in Florissant in a small engine repair program. Since then, I went on to work on naval aircraft for many years. And uh, I am uh, very versed. I kept up my chops at working on these things, these small engines, and I've been doing it for a number of years. Uh, so if you're looking for a fast solution, that's what I try to provide. I can do mobile service come to you. If you bring it to me, um, you know, that's, uh, if that works out for you, that's something you can do. Uh, but anyway, lawn tractors, aerators, anything that really runs on uh, gasoline, a uh, small engine um, or two stroke. That's the fuel that you mix for your trimmers. I can also do those hedgers and uh, the like. So I've got my cat here, Mink, um, assisting me today. But uh, so if that's something that uh, interests you, I uh, do reliable professional work. I keep you in the loop along the way, letting you know what parts will be needed, if any. A lot of times we don't even need parts. But uh, if there's something that uh, requires like a quick fix, especially if there's something that just happened, uh, you can give me a call. You'll uh, scan this QR code here first, and I'll ask you a series of just two or three questions to find out more about your equipment. And there's a place for you to put in your number, and I can contact you back just as soon as possible, definitely within a couple hours. I check this regularly. And I'll get back to you and we'll figure out next steps, uh, whether you want to bring it by or you want me to come to you. But like I said, I like to provide a speedy turnaround. And uh, I like to think that there's some value in that uh, type of service. So anyway, a couple things you can check before you call me. Or if you want to call me or go to the website, you can click here or scan the QR code uh, to get in contact with me. A couple things you can check. Uh, your uh, battery in your uh, tractor or your zero turn or whatever equipment you have, if it has a battery, make sure it's fully charged. If you don't have a voltmeter, if you can uh, figure out how to do it, um, <clears throat> you can take your battery out. Usually it's just a couple screws, a couple bolts, 10 millimeter nuts on them usually. Uh, take that off. Uh, negative terminal first, positive terminal, then remove your battery. If you can do that, you can take it to any AutoZone, O'Reilly Auto Parts, um, Advanced Auto, Napa, and they will go ahead and charge it for you overnight for free. And you come back the next day, pick it up, and when you go to pick it back up, they'll tell you whether or not it even is good, you know, whether it has a dead cell in it. But if it is chargeable, they will have charged it. You'll have a full charge and then bring it back to your machine. Try to crank it. Try to get it running again. If it's not doing it, then for sure, you know, uh, get, get back in touch with me and we'll see what we can do for you. Uh, the second thing is, is your fuel. You want to check your fuel, your gasoline, make sure it doesn't have any water in it. And so if you can possibly do it, drain out your old fuel. Uh, put it in a glass jar, uh, drain it out from the carburetor and the fuel tank, get it all out in a big glass jar if you can find one. And then once it's all drained out, look up at it and see if it has water. All, let it settle for about 15 minutes or so and let that stuff settle to the bottom. You'll see if it had water in it or not. And at least you're eliminating that as a possibility for the malfunction that's happening. And then go ahead and put uh, fresh gas back in it and try to give it a startup. So if that, I hope that helps you out. Uh, either way, you can go ahead and click the link. I think it's in the upper right, depending on what device you're on, you can click up there or there will be a QR code that you can scan here on the video. And uh, I look forward to speaking with you. Thanks.